Okay, let's start with the microbiome. So the microbiome is approximately 100 trillion different types of microorganisms, bacteria, yeasts, parasites, fungi, that it's almost like an organ. It weighs about one to two kilos, depending on the person. It's almost the same weight as your brain. And it's so critical. Like in the past, we've kind of been almost brainwashed to think that bugs, these bugs are bad, bacteria are bad. You know, you've got to have these like antibiotics, you've got to have, you know, sanitize your hands. But it turns out that you know, protecting the microbiome and encouraging the microbiome and balancing it and keeping it healthy is absolutely essential for your health. I mean, they're not the enemy. They're, they're part of us. They are us. And, you know, the latest science is saying we're roughly 50-50 bug and microorganisms and our own cells. But from a gene level, it's even more. It's something like 10 to 1. So there's more genes from the microbiome by you know, 10 times as much as your own genes in your body. Was anybody aware of that, this information? It's great. So what's the microbiome responsible for? It's responsible for about 80% of your immune system. It's important in unlocking nutrients in your body, vitamins, energy, digestion, production. And this is why it was so important for me because when I was, when I was first I guess, diagnosed with my mental illness, the first thing they want to put you is on some sort of serotonin uptake inhibitor, a Prozac or a Zoloft. And how that works is essentially it's, it's effect impacting serotonin in the blood. It's keeping serotonin in the blood longer and serotonin is your feel good hormone. But 95% of serotonin is produced in the gut. So this is why, you know, how you feel is so important when it comes to balancing your microbiome and having the right types of bacteria in the gut to produce serotonin with your own cells. So they work synergistically together. Bifidobacteria, the main species, working with the gut epithelial cells to produce a lot of the serotonin. 